I could take a break from this world Running on a hamster wheel But searching for something I can't feel I just wanna discharged and we can leave and go home so i am totally praying for that because i am super starving and hungry run from the dark and appointment I ever thought I would have had to go through. First of all, they admitted me into the hospital, as y'all can see. Took all kinds of blood work. <sighs> but I am grateful and thankful to say that I am back in my car and I am going home, you guys. Yay! I am going home. I cannot wait to get there. I miss my kids. I never thought I'd say that. <laughs> but, you know, after only being gone for a few hours, but I miss them and their crazy antics. I'm so used to being there with them, letting them jump all over the place. So I miss them. It is 2.23. I have been at the doctor since eight o'clock, at the hospital since eight o'clock in the freaking morning. I am ready to go home. I have not eaten like a thing. They gave me water midway through and like one cup of apple juice. That is all. <laughs> that is all they allowed your girl. And I, I just, I can't wait to go home. I hope I don't throw up <laughs> in the midst of trying to, um, eat so fast because or I hope I don't eat too fast where I end up throwing up so I'm just ready to go home and basically what they thought was that I was going through preterm labor um 
so they thought you know what happened was the triggered the whole thing was that harmony had to been doing something in there they think they think that she was in there maybe pulling at the umbilical cord or tugging it they, they think she might have rolled over and laid on it um or you know and or got you know like got it round you know wound around her that kind of thing <sighs> whatever she did <laughs> okay it sent a whirlwind through my day okay I have no idea what she did, but basically she did, she did something to that umbilical cord to the point where it freaked the doctors out and I had to be moved from the clinic part to the um, hospital part, like immediately. Like they sent me to labor and delivery and they were just like, how are you feeling? They kept asking me, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? I'm like, dude, I feel fine. Like, I don't understand what's happening right now. And they were just like, oh, well, your baby's heart rate dropped be, um, below 100 or something like that for three minutes. Three minutes. And I was just freaking out. Like, what are you, are you serious right now? And um, so they were just like, we don't take any, you know, um, we don't take anything lightly when it comes to things like that. So we just had to go ahead and send you to labor and delivery. Have you ever had a C-section? I'm like, oh my God. Like when they started talking about that, I got spooked because I thought they were just going to be ready to cut the baby out of me right then and there. Like, you know, they were talking about starting IVs and stuff. I, I was just freaking out and uh, that set my blood pressure through the roof and so they had to like keep testing me and take a whole ton of blood so that they could make sure that you know I wasn't going into preeclampsia stage it was just crazy but luckily once they hooked me up to the machines and they explained everything to me and I calmed down finally everything just came together um Harmony didn't do any more of the crazy stunts with her umbilical cord, thankfully. And so after four hours of being hooked up to the machines and watching her heart rate and checking her amniotic fluid to make sure that she still had enough fluid around her body, they decided to go ahead and let me go. And I was so appreciative that nothing was wrong with her um, because that totally just freaked me out. But I'm also very grateful uh, to the doctors, even though I felt like, um, you know, maybe they could have told me more and, you know, before they started freaking out, maybe I wouldn't have freaked out. I don't know. I'm not even going to say that. I'm just appreciative that they saw it and they caught it. And then, you know, we all went through the necessary procedures to do what we had to do to save not only me, but to save Harmony. So I, I really appreciate that from the doctors. They see it. They saw um, me going through contractions. They, I, they saw my contractions on the screen. Some of them I felt. Some of them I didn't feel. So I don't know what they were seeing. And you know, but like, but the doctor said that it wasn't happening like very often. Just like once or twice an hour. And so that is pretty normal for 34 weeks because I'm 34 weeks and um, pregnant. So. That did not scare them, and it wasn't like a heightened, you know, like they weren't really strong contractions. And I'm like, they couldn't have been because I didn't feel most of them. <laughs> Some of them I do feel, a majority I do not. So, um, she said that's normal when you've had as many babies as I have. <laughs> so, I just, I just... 
you know, I just, I'm just thankful and grateful that I'm able to be in my car and drive home today because I did not want to have Harmony early. I, that was the last thing on my mind, especially not at the drop of a hat and not have her cut up out of me, um, you know, at, you know, at a, on a whim. So I, I am just grateful and thankful that somebody was looking out for us today <laughs> okay but that's what happened today at my doctor's appointment i do have another doctor's appointment tomorrow so i will be going to that doctor's appointment and hopefully nothing will come about there okay so thank you guys so much for watching i truly appreciate you guys that is my update my baby update don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Love you guys so much.